in the early stages, flexing their offense once again. Andrew with a couple stutter steps, finds his guy on the slant. That's Luke Cambites. Luke Cambites to the house. St. Mary's leads it first. The reigning champ will take the lead here at the MDU Resources Community Bowl. Touchdown, St. Mary's. A 30-yard strike from Cole Ginger to Luke Cambites. The 5'11", 165-pound quarterback on the bootleg. Rolling near side, still looking downfield, and eventually he finds his guy for a strike and a touchdown. Jonah Krebs, our player to watch, shows you exactly why. Skittering down that near sideline, a 16-yard touchdown for the second score of the day for St. Mary's. And so first down and goal for the Saints. Design quarterback keeper, Andrew Cohen to work. He's got it. Showing the shiftiness, showing the left on the right stick, the right on the right stick, and it doesn't much matter. Cole in the end zone for a touchdown. St. Mary's capitalizes on one play following the Grafton turnover. St. Mary's won the opening toss, elects to defer, so they will get the ball back. They were hoping to score at the end of the first half. They did not. However, it could still be a 14-point swing as their defense kept Grafton off the board, and they're going to score without running a single offensive play. The game-breaking speed of Jonah Krebs. Has St. Mary's in the end zone on the return, 27-0. Madler will send the guy in motion, that's Tanner Davis. Pitch over to the far side of your screen, here he comes again, it's Jalen Sprecher with room to run. Sprecher with speed gets by everybody. The safety help over the top could not get there. One play, one touchdown. This may very well just be a deep shot to Chosik. They fake the screen to him. It is a deep shot, but it's not him. It's Brett Vetter, and it is intercepted. Now Bismarck High is going to get a chance from Kenny Winbauer. Winbauer sheds a couple tackles. Kenny's still on his feet. Winbauer gets a nice block along the side and eventually brought down. But BHS gets an opportunity inside the Eagles' 40-yard line. By Schreiner. Final touch across from Almeria. Big swing from the middle, it's kept up, but it's sent back out of bounds. And again, Courtney Peterson. Game point opportunity for the Sabres, blocked up. Should be a great look for Legacy from the midcourt, it goes down. Great job by Nish to get that over on the second touch. But another great kill from the edge on Michaela Kurtz. Kept up by Almaris, and Legacy sends it back across. Push to the corner, and they say that is in. 25-11, your score in set number four. 3-1, your final. The Jamestown Blue Jays move to 8-0 oh on this six. Hog oh, takes the snap. He gives it off. Running room on that far side. That's a beautiful run and a touchdown. Zach Petrick finds the end zone on fourth down and five. He could not be stopped. Jamestown scored first in this game on a field goal from Connor Fuchs. Watford City answered with a touchdown, but this touchdown is going to go the way of the Blue Jays. Brandon Dahlman to the house. Able to get up the field under his own power. It's second down and seven. Give us to Petrick. He busts through. He's across the 20 down the sideline. He is headed to the land of six. 36 2 6 is our score. Now St. Mary's keeps that formational versatility going. A pistol look this time for Gendrew. Read pass option. He's going pass, and why not when you've got a man downfield? He finds John Nordberg, who is into the end zone for a St. Mary's touchdown. 33 yards out. Line to gain at right about the six. Gendrew, plenty of space. Rolls right, looking end zone wide open. Touchdown. Gendrew playing pitch and catch right now. A Hudson Bradley touchdown. Nate Rodriguez and Eli Allen, as well as Overlander and Nix. This year, the youngins having a tough time with the speed of St. Mary's. Perfectly read option by Cole Gendrew, and he takes it himself. A 20 yard touchdown for Cole Gendrew, just like last week, a rushing score. This time it comes on just one play. To Libero it goes. Pushing the century territory by Eustad. Nice hit off the edge. Does that get inside? Yes. Abby Kallenbach by Sheely. Cross court hit. Nearly went down. That was a sweet shot from Gaffney. It won't earn the point, but that will. Caitlin Solinski, the senior, picking up her first. The near side. They come to take a look at Weeks. She 
was blocked, pushed over, sent right back. Peterson over the front row, knocked down. And how about the awareness there from Megan Anderson? Allison Abel on the serve, received by Peterson, set for Kurtz. That's down, 25-16. Michaela Kurtz with the, the dagger. Back line and again, free ball. The Jets, short set, middle, monster, spike and a blast. Caitlin's second kill of the day. Now serve to the back. Over to the far side, that has been the option A for Elise Klein and company through the block. Klein gets the first, will she get first and third? You bet, rejected up front. Diving stop, Klein guides it over. And it gets out of play. Back-to-back -back kills for Elise Klein. Sent over far side. A quick shove off the hands of Beck. But the response is down in the corner and good. Klein rejected by the Williston block. Now to the middle. Otto is denied. Back-to-back -back dunks. Klein, back row. There it is. They also want to move above 500 for the first time this season. Oakster standing tall in the pocket, avoids some pressure. Flag is thrown as he chucks this one downfield and it's intercepted. Second pick of the night for Minot High and they are going to be knocking on the doorstep once again with 9.21 left to go in the first quarter. Rudolph with a single back in the backfield, throws a dart across the middle and it's intercepted. Austin Wolf picks it out of the air and back and forth we go here in a wild first quarter. Rudolph under center, high formation. For Minot, it's going to be a give. Cut inside, a nice one. Beautiful run to the house. It is 13-0. Danielson finds the end zone for the second time tonight. Hoekstra wanted it, nice pump fake, and a beautiful ball put on the money that'll move the line of scrimmage up to the 47-yard line, first down, and the best pass of the night, but right into the midst of big Austin Wolf, looking for their opportunity for their first point. Rudolph wants to throw, busted coverage, Lamore pulls it in and steps into the end zone. 27 nothing. Minot leads. 29 points at its third down and six. Rudolph fakes the screen, rolls to his right, takes a shot towards the end zone. Touchdown, Minot.